Hello everyone, welcome back. We are going to do the configuration. This is a ESA mini project. In, the, in this one, we are going to learn how we can configure the ACL part one. I hope you already see that one. This is a part two. In that one, we are going to do the configuration. So let me power on the devices. So I power on the ESA firewall. I will take the CLI of the ESA firewall. Okay, so this is a ASA is booting up, let it be and what I can do, I can power on the devices. So I will power on the server 1, server 2, server 3. Okay, and also we can go for the other PC also. Anyhow, let me go to the server 1 first and let me check here, it is loading. Let me open server 2 also and let me open server 3 also. Okay, this is, these are the three servers. It will take time to boot up. Meanwhile, we can uh, check the other machines. So this one we can power on. I will power on this one. One server here. I will take this uh, CLI also. This server is booting up. Actually, we are taking the router. Router as a server, okay? So no issue. We can uh, use router as a server. We will do the configuration. So our router will act as a server. Okay, so let me go to the this router. I will write no and then here also I will write no. And here it, it is booting up. And we need to start this one also. This uh, what we can say PC1, external PC1. Later we will do that one, no issue. Okay, even you don't need this all server, one server is also enough just to check the lab. Anyhow, we will uh, configure one server and we can do the lab later if we need in case we will configure the other server also. So this is a server one. Let me check the server one. We can do the configuration. This is external server. I will write here no. This is a server three, server two and this is a server one ASA. ASA firewall is ready now so we can do the ASA configuration first then we can move for the other configuration okay so we will do the basic configuration here for the ASA if you see here I will put the console here like this this is a ASA firewall so basic stuff we need to assign this IP Ethernet 1 we need to assign this range of IP Ethernet 0 we need to assign this one so let's do that one First of all, I will write enable, then press enter, go in the global configuration mode, and then after that, we will write interface ETH1. Okay, I go under that interface. After that, I will write IP address. I will write 192.168.1.1. This is a classful IP, so no need to write subnet mask. Directly, you can press enter also. It will accept, or if you want to write, you can write, but without writing also, it will accept. Okay. After that, I will write the name if, name if inside, okay. You need to define the name also here. Name if, what name we need to give for this interface. We need to write that one. So name if, name if, what we need to give. This is a inside, so I will write inside. When I give the name it as a inside, then automatically the security level assigned by default as a 100. Which interface? This interface I done, ETH1. Now what I need to do, I need to do for ETH0 also. So I assign the IP address, I give the name and I will write no shut here. I assign the IP address, I give the inside name, security level by default it came and then we write no shut. Then I will exit this interface. After that I will go to the other interface ETH0. Okay, ETH0 I will write here. ETS0 IP address and whatever the IP we plan 192.168.2.1 If you want to write subnet mask write here 255.255.0 and we write no shirt and now we will give the name if outside okay when I write outside automatically security level 0 set by default and what else we can do we can write one more command here because we are going to do ping also so we need to rec write fix up protocol ICMP okay so I done the basic configuration in the ASA firewall later we are going to learn how we can configure the ACL now I done the basic configuration 
basic means just assigning the IP address, putting the security level and I put the ICMP, allow the ICMP. This is a basic configuration I done in the ASA firewall. Now we can go to the server one. So this is a server one. Actually I am using the router image. We are going to configure this router as a server. So I will rename, we will use host name SRV1. Okay, so I change the name here. After that, I need to assign the IP. If you see, this is a E0 by 0. So I will go under that interface E0 by 0 IP address. I will give IP 192.168.1.2. Give space 255.255.255.0. And then we write no shut. This way we assign the IP address to this interface. Okay, it go up. And also we need to create one default route. I will write IP route 0.0.0. .0 .0 then 0.0.0, .0 forward that all traffic to our gateway, that is our firewall IP. I am saying uh, this PC give all your traffic to this gateway, gateway IP is this one. Okay, so I done that one. Here I am using switch, switch is a full duplex and this uh, router is a half duplex, so that's why we are getting this message. So if you don't want to see that one, then go under that interface and write duplex full. Okay, so this error will not come. So here I assign the IP address and I give the gateway. That is nothing but default route I forwarded here. Or if you want to get, give the gateway, you can use the gateway command also. As I am using the router, so directly I assign the default route, so all the traffic will go here. Okay, so basic configuration for this R1 also done. I need to enable here some services. So what I will do, I will write here, I am going to enable the uh, port 80. So I will write IP HTTP server. Okay. IP HTTP server. I will enable this one. And also what I will do, I will do IP HTTP authentication local. And I will create the local username. So I will write username, username, admin, we can give anything and privilege 15. I will give and password is also admin. So this configuration we done to make this uh, router to what we can say to be behave this router as a server. Okay. So with this command, this router will behave like a server, HTTP server, port 80. If you want to enable port 443 also, we can do port 443. Now I am enabling the port 80 HTTP with this command. If you don't know this one, no need to worry. You can take the uh, any server and you can run the services like uh, we have some server also available in the EVNG we can use that one also but now I'm using simple you can just copy here see what I done I write this IP HTTP server IP HTTP authentication local then we create one user that's all with this command this router port 80 service is enabled that's all okay and if you want to do same thing for this router, you can do same thing here. Go to this uh, server, enable config t, host name, what is the host name, SRV2, and then interface is 0 by 0, right here, duplex full, because you will get error, because switch is full duplex, router is half duplex in EVNG. And then write, uh, write IP address 192.168.3.1.3, okay, 1.3. 255.255.255.0 and write no shut and then create one default route IP root IP root 0.0.0 .0, .0, then 0.0.0 0. .0. let me write here 0, .0. And then write the firewall IP 192.168.1.1 and what else you need to do if you want to enable the services you can enable how we will enable IP HTTP server IP HTTP server IP HTTP server and then we write IP HTTP authentication local and create the local username admin and we can give privilege as a 15 and the password is admin that's all if you want to do same thing on router 3 you can do let me save also this configuration. So I will write do wr because I am in the global configuration mode. That's why I am writing do wr. We will do same thing here also. I will go here config t 
then I will write host name SRV3 then interface E0 by 0 okay you need to check here this is the interface I am saying this one then write IP address whatever the IP address 192.168.1.3 1.4 255.255.255.0 and write no shirt and also write the duplex full and then create the default root so I will write IP root 0.0.0, .0 then 0.0.0, .0 and write the gateway IP that is our firewall IP and if you want to enable here also services IP HTTP server IP HTTP what we can say authentication local and create the local username username admin privilege 15 password admin that's all and I will save the configuration here also so this three server configuration basic configuration we done if you want to do in external server also this one we can do here okay what I will do I will do enable config t host name external server okay and then interface is 0 by 0 if you see this router interface is 0 by 0 IP address 192.168.2.3 255.255.255 sorry 255.255.0 and duplex full and no shirt and if you want to enable the services we can enable how we can enable IP HTTP server IP HTTP authentication local and you can create the local username 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 admin privilege 15 password admin any any username any password you can use and I will save here so I done this one also this PC later we will do no issue so no need to power on this one also now later we can look this or if you want to keep you can keep like this so this way I configure the internal server and the firewall external server only one external server I configure here so what we need to do we need to test okay so this is a part 2 we done partially configuration now we are going to do the remaining in the part 3 okay so this is a ASA firewall mini project in this one we are going to learn how we can use the ACL to allow the low security level guys to access some server from the high security level okay so try to watch the part 3 in part 3 we are going to continue this one thank you